tutafanya bidii kabisa 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 so that we deliver to the people of Kenya i was watching many people being interviewed and i was amazed that kenyans were listening to our agenda and they want to make sure that we deliver we have no option good people we have to deliver every the people being interviewed in streets in markets in many places in Kenya want to know when the hustler fund is going to be rolled out yes. they want <laughs> 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 they want to know when the subsidies on our agriculture are going to be rolled out. And so I want to tell you the following. With this victory comes a lot of authority. We are vested with a lot of authority because of this victory. And with a lot of authority comes huge responsibility. Yeah. And with huge responsibility comes a huge measure of accountability. So we must understand that yes, a lot of authority has been given to us, but we must also appreciate that it comes with a lot of responsibility. And with it, enormous accountability. So the easier part is done. The difficult part begins. But I am very confident that the team we have assembled in you and in the others, we have what it takes to deliver our plan, our program, and our agenda to the people of Kenya. We will be proposing, actually, changing the standing orders so that cabinet secretaries can go to parliament and answer questions. Yes. Cabinet secretaries are public officials. They must be interrogated by Parliament. They must go and explain government policy in Parliament. And so we will be looking at how we can change the studying orders so that instead of cabinet secretaries going to committees of Parliament, they should go to the floor of the House and be asked questions directly by members of Parliament so that public policy can be better explained, better understood, and the people of Kenya can know how their government is delivering. We believe in running an accountable government. And the highest level of accountability is in parliament. So uh, those who will be appointed as uh, cabinet secretaries must prepare themselves to face members of parliament and answer and answer questions uh, because that that's how transparent we want to run the next administration i think we have insulated um, those who run our ministries for far too long from accountability and uh, we expect that uh, that accountability is going to be taken to the next level those of us who are politicians both in Kenya Kwanzaa and in the camp of our competitors. I want to say here that the provincial administration, right from the chiefs, will not be available to run political errands for any political party. We want a professional public service a professional provincial administration that will help government deliver on its agenda. Politics will be the business of those who are politicians.
So every political party must arrange themselves. Look for your own errand men and women. Look for your own officials. Look for your own structures to run your politics. The provincial administration will not be available to run politics for any political party, including ours. We want them to help us in the delivery of government programs in serving the people of Kenya equally, irrespective of the political party they belong to, irrespective of any other consideration. That will be the administration that we will be running. We have capacity to run our own politics. We didn't have the provincial administration, but we won. Yes. So it clearly demonstrates that you don't need the provincial administration to win any politics. And therefore, um, as we look into the future, and as I speak today, I want to ask the provincial administration, public officers all over the country to step back from the politics that they have been forced to engage with the last few months and maintain their position as public officers, serve the public equally with no reference to any political uh, affiliation of any Kenyan, we encourage politicians to do their politics in their political parties, in their political formations, and allow government officers to deliver on government work. So that, that will be the future we are looking at. And I want to promise you, as I promised Kenya, that the culture of fear, blackmail, and intimidation will stop. We will not run government using blackmail or threats or selling fear to the people of Kenya. We are a free society, democratic society, and everybody can be the best they want to be. We don't fear criticism. We want good ideas to give way to better ideas by opening the space for all of us to speak their mind without fear of any reprisal from any corner. But I want to tell the people of Kenya, we live in a democratic society and every Kenyan is free to speak their mind, to be the best they want to be. It is the only way we can tap into the talent of the millions of Kenya that make this country the great country that it is. I will spare no effort to work with each and every one of you to make sure that you succeed because in your success lies our collective success. So we will work together, we will pull together. And as my able deputy has said, this consultation will be the norm in Kenya Kwanzaa. <laughs> Consultations will be the norm, will be uh, the order of the day because we believe that every person who has been elected has not been elected by chance. They have been elected because they have something they can bring on the table to make our success even better. Yeah, so we will depend on you. We want you to speak freely when we meet like this. We want you to speak freely, openly, so that we can carry the ideas of everybody on board as we chart the future of our country. So to all of you, um, I want to tell you, this will be the place where we can all consult, we can bring our ideas, we can shuffle those ideas so that a good idea can give way to a better idea, 
and a better idea can give way to the best ideas. And that's how we are going to take Kenya into the future.